Dream Daddy Dream Daddy Hello kids, queens, nerds, and geeks Powder Milk here And welcome back To another episode of Dream Daddy Now do not mind me dancing I'm just going totally insane and for some reason, every time I play this game, I just want to dance in this fucking soul! Ah! Anyway, guys. Aside from me going completely loony, I want to continue to a plane. Dream Daddy! We, have, we went and had sex with that one guy. We've met everybody. We've met the ultimate dad part episode. It was fucking awesome! And now we're going to have to start this game again! <laughs> Which I love because it's just full of dad jokes and, and and it's not afraid to show homosexuality in this situation. I love it. Uh, for so far, my favorite character is Robert because he's the most straightforward guy there is. And he's already has like the dreamy eyes for you. Mm. He's like, mm, yes, I want a piece of that ass! <laughs> And, and I'm just, and my inner banana man's like, and banana man, I could just feel, if he was here, he'd be like, oh, look at this hat of devil, and I'm, and he'd be like, mm, <laughs> get away the butt! Uh, oh, God. I'm going fucking loony. <laughs> God, if banana man was here, I could just imagine him playing, all right, who's getting butt fucked? Okay, that was getting weird. Okay, now it's getting weird. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That was getting really inappropriate now. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Let's continue playing Dream Daddy to where we were. So, load the game. We were in the breakfast room at the time. Or the kitchen, whatever. So, actually, I'm going to move my keyboard because I won't need it for this portion of the game. I'm just going to use my mouse. That's all I need. Oh, God, guys. My fucking... Where's my Kool-Aid? Where's my glass? I just had it. Ah, great. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Found the damn thing. Ah. Yeah. Got my Kool-Aid. I always have to keep. Uh, I always keep my Kool-Aid close by. Okay. I don't know if you can hear me at all through that conversation. I definitely did not sleep well that night. Last night. No, I, I might just give my character the Banana Man. I'm gonna might do this for Banana Man. I definitely don't, didn't sleep well that last night. I brewed some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for a ma- and a- and a piece of a- as a piece opera. Actually, I- I can't keep that up. She even- she eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey. I thought about what you said last night. I shouldn't have- I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't th even think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well... Uh, I'm sorry if you're an adult now. You should have gotten. I shouldn't have gotten worked up, which is true. Mm. Tea milk. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. I love the name of that team milk. Cause, uh, oh god, I love being powdered milk. But guys, here's this. All of you watching my videos right now, those are my fr my friends, fans, and family. You are all part of team milk. Everybody, let's do this. Oh god. Everybody watching, everybody in the comments, just type in Team Milk! Team Milk. Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it! Sprinkle some cheese on them. Oh, here's a fun thing, guys. Uh, you're not really supposed to do this in the army, but we do it anyway. Um, it's something we do in our food. We put cheese in the eggs sometimes just to make them taste better because usually our eggs come in bags and shit and it kind of sucks. So we try to make them better. So we add cheese to them to make them even better. Make them really good. Man, it's, it's just great. Anyway, already did. Bless you. I didn't sneeze. <laughs> Amanda scarfs down the eggs in, what, in the time it takes me to wash the pan. All right, I'm off to school. See you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dad book? It's a social media platform. 
Wait. What? What social media platform? <laughs> Why is my character so technologically impaired? Even my dad uses social media. My dad is just ba is is not this incompetent. And he's like in his fifties. Damn. In fact, my dad has an Xbox 360 currently, and he loves playing on that thing. Though he's not very good at the games, but he's a. Uh, I like I, I I encourage dad to tr practice more in those on his off time. Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. All right, I'll help you sound un interesting on the internet. Ugh. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up the profile on dad book, which it turns out the place where dads can get together and talk about the fatherhood. Ugh. All right, pops, we got to fill out, out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. All righty. This is going to be interesting. This is is the actual game on Friday night you're most likely to po uh, polish and sort my coin collection Netflix and grill baby I like Netflix and grill baby I love that I watch Netflix a lot and I do actually don't mind cooking and grilling fall asleep watching the history channel I don't really like the history channel that much I do love sleeping torment my children with dad puns I totally do that as I've said this before, guys, I want to be the stereotype dad where he scares the shit out of her daughter's boyfriends and makes endless amounts of dad puns, which I already do, um, and sink into blissful oblivion sleep. I want to torment my kids with dad puns. If you had one thing to take ache with you into one desert island, what would it be? A um, trusty grill? One thing, it says. A lost sh uh, shaker of salt? A lo lost shaker of salt? Cast away on DVD, uh, or for instructional purposes. A boat, obviously. I don't need anything. My survival skills will be enough to train me each day. I know a normal army guy would say this, but I want to be with my family, so I'm going to say a boat, obviously. What What are your turn-ons? <laughs> a turn-on. Strong dad arms. I... Uh, uh, one day, these these will be dad arms. <laughs> one day, guys. One day, I'm going to end up knocking up my wife one day. Oh, God. A tennis shoes with long white socks. Comfortable with crying. Uh, up tighter grillmanship. Street smarts. Huh. Strong dad arms. Let's go with that. What did you want to be when you grew up? A salt alty boat captain. Mmm. Remember, oh god, guys, maybe you remember Captain Blackcock? I will stab you with my huge black sword. Captain Blackcock. <laughs> oh my god, um, a technical writer for manuals and instructions. Pro skater who is also an astronaut. What the fuck? That's very unrealistic. A good father. Now, guys, guys, now, guys. The one thing I've always dreamed myself ever being as a kid. I'm not joking. You know, I may have some wild dreams as a kid. You know, I wanted to be an uh, ar I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a policeman. I wanted to be an architect. Though that one was kind of weird for me. Um, and then there was many other things that I wanted to be. So I end up thinking, you know, cook. And then all of a sudden, but I've noticed that one thing I've had in common is that I wanted to be a dad in every situation of those. And I realized. That being a good father was the only thing I wanted to be. And I like how the last one's president of space. That's something Markiplier would be uh, like worthy of doing. Um, I think he did do a Let's Play on this, actually. I might watch that after I finish this one. A good father. What's your favorite movie genre? Uh, war documentaries. Sean Connery's entire filmography. <laughs> Um, anything on Laserdisc, romantic comedies? I love romantic comedies. I just love them. Whatever will make me cry, um, no movie makes me cry except anime, um, old comedies that haven't, a haven't aged well. I'll be honest, I love old comedies. You know, uh, Adam Sandler and all that. I love his old movies like Billy Madison, um, uh, Happy Gilmore, um, so many other ones. Oh, even Big Daddy. Oh my god, Big Daddy was awesome, which is kind of irrelevant to this situation. Kind of relevant. <laughs> what is your ideal date? Oh, yes! I love this. Napping together, doing 1,000-piece puzzle together, eating healthy dinner for at 4 p.m., trying to 
G okay. I can't pronounce that into the hopelessly lost arson being emotionally vulnerable. I actually love the term napping together. And if any of you couples out there ever try napping together, it's fucking amazing. What do you what do you what do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan? A sick vape? My sick vape? Oh god, I'm immediately thinking Boz right now. Oh god. Boz likes to vape. I think he still does, anyway. My book of word jumbles and, and a pen. A cool knife. Ah, uh, god, I wish I carried my knife more often than I did. My crippling low self-esteem. Oh god! <laughs> I frequently forget my phone, keys, and wallet at home sometimes. Oh my god, why is this so accurate to me? I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories, though that's one of the things on my list, though, though I do think about conspiracy theories, but I do, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I do, I think conspiracy theorists are inter conspiracy theories are interesting, honestly. I am proud, I am, I am of my child, how, how proud I am of my child. Potential ends of the world, I've thought of that many times before. If I've ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. I have no idea how to feel about that la that one. Okay, one sec. When I can next get a cup of coffee. Lawnmower modifications. Why, why is he's... You know, I probably think about how proud I am of my child. I'll be honest. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I would totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. You should message me on one of them, or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Got him. Go get him, dad. It's like she's telling me to go get laid. It's like, oh god, you welcome, you've got dads? Okay, now guys, I have to be honest. This game basically told me, go get laid. This daughter, what daughter in their right mind would ever tell their dad, go get laid, dad? <laughs> Who says that? That's basically what she just did to me. Oh, God. Um, uh, Robert. Let's go back to Robert. Okay, let's read his profile. Okay, when the interesting get ins... Um, okay, uh, Robert. When the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you know it's time this information against us, right? Use the, this information against us, right? Make a deal with the al alleyway. Deal. Make a deal. The alleyway have to go oh, badly. Hey, who's the cop? Was it Gisekmo? I trusted Gisekmo. What the fuck? Um. Make a deal on the alleyway. Okay, you're a drug dealer and a conspiracy theorist, obviously. Um. What are your turn-ons? Don't talk to me. Okay. What is the? Okay. He wants to bring a gun and he wanted to be a grifter. Uh, how do I go back? So that's Robert Small. Oh, uh, I wonder if he's not... Hopefully, he, I wonder if, if he's not small, if you know somewhere else, if you know what I'm saying. Brian. This guy's probably an outdoer. Obviously. Um, hey, I'm Brian. I spend most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking of new ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. Uh, he likes to do... What does he like to do on Friday night? See, hey, just how silly I can cook a piece of brisket. Actually, cooking brisket's pretty awesome. I mean, sp cook, slower you cook it, the tender it gets. Uh, oh, God, I'm already starting to sound like a dad. But I, actually, that's from my mom. My mom loves making briskets. Um, she would, he was bringing his fishing pole. Uh, his turn-ons are a keen understanding of steak cuts. Okay. And he always wanted to be a fireman. Oh, you look like a very, very big fireman with very big dad arms. Okay, Matt. Okay, Matt Sella. A avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You could find me most days settling I mean, bean juice over a coffee at the coffee spoon and hanging out with the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up if you're about oh, in the 80s. No wave music. No wave music. 80s, no wave music. Okay, I'm 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 uh, I'm stuttering way too much. Okay. <gasps> okay. Okay. Um. Got to uh, fine tunes to pass the days away. That's nice. Uh, multi instrut instrutism. That's his turn ons. 
And he's a bre and what do you he, a barista? Weirdly enough, he actually wanted to be a barista growing up. The barista is usually a female's usually usually a female's position. I'm not saying it's a gender thing. It's just what it usually is. You usually see a female barista. That's I haven't been at many coffee shops because I don't drink coffee. So, okay, Craig, his old friend. Dad of three, business entrepreneur, uh, a fitness enthusiast, juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but sometimes you got to do it. This guy is an overachiever. He's a workaholic. I can see that right now. Um, um, get one last good cardio session in. That's what you like to do on your Fridays. Oh, the, oh wait, a minute, I just realized there's more info and I haven't read. Okay, actually, let's... There's Damien. Okay, I'm not going to read all this because I'll probably just read them as I go. And, of course, there's Hugo, of course. And Oh, God, this guy has a thing for muscles. Oh, God, I am the exact opposite. Okay, my character is the exact opposite. Uh, Joseph, this, this fabulous piece of candy that Banana Man would enjoy. Um, what are your turn-ons, my loving wife? I bet you typed that in there because your wife was over your shoulder. I bet that's why that's in there. Oh, God. Okay. No, let's go talk to Robert because he is our... We've actually had good contacts with him. Contacts with him. Message. Do I seem desperate? <laughs> oh, God. I love this game. <clears throat> I wonder how hard this game is going to be. I really want to know because I don't know the exact mechanics of the game. I just know this is a dating simulator. And you have to really work for it. I know there's some social media. That's a good start from there. I don't even know how long the intro of the game is. Holy shit. I believe Markiplier did a five-hour live stream on this. 36. Trust no one. Please remember to call us once in a while. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. Excuse me. Mm. I had some, uh... I had a Philly cheesesteak before I... For lunch today, so I'm kind of a bit of a... Gassy from the soda and stuff. Have any of you been to Charlie's? Go there. I love that place. Not sponsored, by the way. Uh, I love Charlie's, though. I love it. Oh, here we are. Robert is a pretty n is, was pretty nice. A little cold. A little odd, but nice. But rugged and handsome. He should ha hang out. I typed the message him on dad book. Hey, I'm Robert. Good see- or not, or... I sit here for a couple seconds and hoping he'll message me back. Hey, it says I've he've read my message. Anxiety waits for my response. Watch cat videos. Nothing. Well, I guess uh, the guy's busy. I might as well make the best of my day. I will get it up and walk to the living room, and then I sit down and turn on the TV. Ah, uh, food, food channel. Ah, uh, meat hell is on. Ah, uh, you have ten minutes to cook for five courses meal and a muscle includes the. Okay, I'm not gonna read this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not kidding. These... Please help us. I lose several hours of, of whatever the hell this that was. Sighing, I get up and walk around my house. My stomach grumbles. Time for lunch. Oh, well, I guess I'll go... Oh, oh chef milk to cook gourmet deli... I walk over to the refrigerator and open the door. Uh, microwave some eggs? Mustard jar? Let's make a sandwich. Let's be fucking real here. I want a big, beefy sandwich, okay? I love sandwiches, guys. Fucking, I'm a sandwich enthusiast. Ugh. I make a sandwich in the entire area while standing here. Who needs plates? The, the sandwich. I lost art. <laughs> the sandwich. <laughs> fucking dad jokes. <laughs> I think the majority of dad jokes... Is basically just how I lost my sanity. You're just alone for so long, you start making up fucking jokes that sound like dad jokes, and you just start like, losing your mind. And it's equivalently of having kids. Equivalently of having kids. I'm gonna wonder what the fuck I'm gonna be like as a father. Oh god. I'm gonna be more crazy. I might surpass my wife. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. I love my wife, but... We could all call ourselves crazy here and there. I might have the work of the second for a second before I clumsily drop the entire thing on the floor. Fuck! No! No, no, I have to do this right. No!
I look around and remember that Amanda's not home. This is this is still good. Five second rule, right? I re as it reassemble the sandwich, pulling pickles off the floor and putting them back where they belong in my mouth. Wait, I'm a wreck. I finish my snack and walk walk around the house, some more bored when Amanda's coming home. Oh, when's me? Oh, I just remembered something. We were packing up old boxes. I found an old basketball hoop trying to hit, hang off the door. I would uh, re uh, really bring a living room together. I wonder where I put that. I spent a couple of minutes poking around on the new place until I find it. After s installing it, I there are a couple doors in the living room. I'm ready to I get I'm ready to dunk. I, hold on, guys. Hold a sec. Come on and slam. I take a leap from the fl are you sh th leap from the free throw line and rocket the sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild, and welcome to the jam. Space Jam. Who loves that movie? Uh, okay. Um, I pull up from the three-point line and breaking ankles and sinking the fade away. And I forgot the rest of the words to this song. And no look. And look back. Uh, hook no hook shots. Everyone's on their feet. Something something. Space Jam. Oh God. Dad? Turn around and see Amanda standing in the doorway. Her eyes are a little puffy. And almost as like she's been cr- No! Who hurt my daughter? <laughs> hey, Amanda Panda, are you alright? Ah, come on. Stop getting off the screen, mouse. What are you doing? I, uh, found, a, found the hoop and I was taking it to the hole. Pass me the rock. Laser the ball to Amanda. Lead the league in blocks. Second on about the rookie year. Can you think you can handle this? What's a rebound? Oh, uh, when someone misses a shot and the other player tries to receive it, that's a. Just kidding. Ran a zip back past me and tips the layup into the hoop. Art of war, bitches. Amanda, language. Sun Tzu didn't care about language. I would argue that since you cared very much about language, so once you write something at the timeless as art of war, then you're allowed to swear. Amanda sticks out her tongue and dunks another two points. Seriously though, are you okay? You look like you've been crying. No, Dad, I'm cool. I just saw like a really cute dog on the way home and let it pet at its belly. I couldn't contain my emotions. Uh, oh no! Uh, I didn't mean to do that. All right. I don't believe her, but I let it go for now. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Make, as you can see, to the <clears throat> concern with my face and more concern with the full court press. This is a weird ass game. Amanda and I play ball for a little longer and cook dinner and blah blah. Afterward, Amanda and I dig into a carton of ice cream and episode chopped uh, toddler tournament. What? <laughs> Chop toddler tournament? You know what? I should grab ice cream while I play this, but actually I shouldn't. I, I've already had to stop to grab Kool-Aid. I'm sorry if I'm drinking on camera if you guys don't like it. I have to keep drinking. Or my throat's gonna get sore as fuck. With all the talking I'm gonna be doing. What you have in front of you is a molecularly destructive sweet potato with the brown sugar, demi de ice, and the cream fresh 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 of course. Uh, man, guys, I'm a food enthusiast. Me and Boz love food. Uh, Boz would love food as much as me if he didn't gain weight that fast. Boz has trouble with weight, of course. And I don't. I'm, which is... I would kind of wish it was the opposite, so we'd both be happy. The, uh, <laughs> this is literally a jar of baby food. Tyler immediately burst into tears. Are we bad people for watching this? Yes. After a few more episodes, Amanda gets goes to bed. Do I need to go back in time? Still nothing from Robert, but it says he read the message. He is he ignoring me? Eventually, I climb into the bed and get some the rest, and I can't stop wondering why Robert wouldn't message me back. What the fuck? Fuck you, Robert. We we, we made passionate love, but probably by the fire. Wait, how was that a date? Fuck you, game. Ugh. Fucking hell. I hate this game. It considered that a date! Or did that, like, count from the previous game? When you and Robert made some love. God, I gotta get. God, I gotta get a life. Oh, wait, I'm married. Of course I have a life. 
life. I can't English. I can't. Afternoon work. I'm while I'm doing some afternoon un troubles. I hear the mail truck pull in through the cool of the sock. I wonder if I found uh, any coupons today. A nice mail person slides a couple of letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot. I take a couple of tries to get it in. Hey, my coupons. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She prefer it has headphones on. Amanda! She yells through the door. What? There, I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. It's kind of be back later. Okay, I just thought you would want on a big old envelope you got from Hia. H I A. Immediately, Amanda bursts through the door open. Hornet Institute for the Arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please. Hand her the envelope, which she tears to open her with her teeth. You're obviously bad. That's all. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear and spits out, out the piece of envelope. She pulls out the letter and unfolds it. And the suspense is killing me. It, this is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in. Yes. 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 Oh God, guys, am I going to? In you guys' opinion, would I be a good dad and fun as a fun dad or what? I, I ask you guys, I want your opinion. Would I be a good dad? Ugh. Ugh. God. I always wanted to be a father. I got in. Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god. I really did can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You mailed that interview, nailed that interview, and your photography was incredible. Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive. It's so far away. I think for a moment, HIA is one of the most expensive schools that Haya applied to, and I know she's got her hand, heart and hands on the longest time. It'll, it'll be tough, but you're going to make it work. Really? Of course. Randall hugs me again. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie. Yeah. We're celebrating tonight. Dinner? Your choice. Whatever you want. Where? Wherever? Mana and I walk along the bayside, tearing to the foil-wrapped burritos around the nearby food truck. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay, and it co cost was about a determining factor. <laughs> Please, Dad. You know I'm a simple gal. Now give me t give me a burrito with a, a view. I actually like this, because sometimes simple things are the best thing. Seriously, if you are a simple, like, for example, on date-wise, think date-wise, a simple date is sometimes the best. Like, having some Netflix and pizza, that's an awesome date, you know? Or having some wine, you know, and just talk through the night. That's, that, to me, are awesome dates, and I love them. Now, as for time, times to hang out with my kids, I don't know what I'll probably do. I'm not a fan of football, but if my son loves football, I'll support him. If my daughter wants to be a photographer, I'll support her in that as well. I, I admire photography. It's pretty cool. I love the arts, guys. I, I love the arts. My wife paints me paints the most amazing thing. She's ma her hands are fucking magic in more the ways than one. I I mean, she can paint, she can draw, she can sculpt, she can knit. I, I there's so she can even she cooks amazing. Like, I can't go on list of things, but, okay, now I'm rambling. We gotta get back into the video. I, I, I need to get back into it. I'm keep rambling again. I can't say I'm mad. Man and I sit in the patch of grass and watch snips, it's in sna snip, snail, ships sail. What the fuck am I talking about here? Okay, watch ships sail thoroughly through the bay. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes or all these g galleries nearby. And, there are di and there's a discount if you bring your student ID and... Amanda, slow down. You're going to choke on that, your burrito. I know. I'm just excited. Did I mention that the students get their own studio space once they're, they're seniors? And we get all these professional photo editing software for free. It's nice to see Amanda is so enthusiastic about HIB, but I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. 
I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. He'll take a survey online and I'll match, match you with someone with a similar major and in an interest. I bet you're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were good roommates. We can be a lifelong friends. But I didn't don't get me started on the bad roommates. Oh no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have bad roommates. Only our, the only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought in brought home one night. We spent the semester fabricating a story of our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. Carl ruled. Oh, they let you have animals in the dorm if you get in a note saying you need one. And I bet and I could forge one. I think I get in a rabbit or maybe a snake or maybe both. I would the snake would eat the rabbit though. Oh boy, I think I'll leave all that up to you. She's so excited. I didn't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real with for a second. So you know you had to talk with Mr. Vega. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. I didn't want to put the ember on the good news, but I need to uh, knock you out of the park the these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go ho go to ho ho horns. You need a scholarship money. I know oh, you can do it. Huh. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. Huh. I pat her on her back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's going to be some uh, treacherous icy roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the paran paranormal occurrences. Well, I'll be worth... Okay, my da okay, my character has like is a jack of all traits, obviously, but but he has to be to play this game. Uh, it'll be worth it if I yeah, if I get to see you. My eyes mainly well up in t with tears. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very very proud of you. Oh, oh, I'm gonna cry. You're all grown up, and now you're such a good person. I hope you know you're important to who you are. Why am I crying? I'm crying. Dad, stop. You're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. <laughs> taste sad. <laughs> I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Huh. Love you too, Pops. Aww. I'm crying. Come. Yeah, I know, dads. Let's try Damien. We never got around to actually talking to him properly. No, I want to go back and try him again. Because I can't stand the fact that how we didn't get to do anything with this guy. God, my, I'm going to cry. I'm, I, I got to wipe these tears out of my eyes. Hold on. I want to know what's up with this guy. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm still recovering from the set from the happiness. From the beautifulness of what it was. Okay, we're back to the game. I had a lot of fun with Robert la the last time we hung out. I was beginning to wonder if he's dodging me. I've tried messaging him a few times, and Dad Book says he hasn't even read them. He hasn't even seen the um, out of his house, actually. I decided to send him one last message, figure out this proceed, and produce the same results. Hey, man, don't know where you've been, or I should grab a drink soon. I, I walk away from the computer across because at this point I know he's not messing me back anytime. I'm lingering in the kitchen and I caught up with work and the house is relatively clean. Maybe I should do something nice for Amanda. Ah, oh, I'll bake her her favorite pie. I root through the pantry and pull out all the ingredients and this is an old family recipe that I used to make with my grandmother when I was a kid. I lost the actual recipe card a lot, long time ago and I think I'll be able to remember how to make it, bake it. I, can't, I start mixing the ingredients together and, cru uh, and for the crust, and I'll get a nice dough, some um, cherries, and a saucepan. This is actually something Boz would probably do. I've seen him bake amazing things. I'm making a pie. Oh man, I can't remember how, what temperature you're supposed to set the oven at. Three se I'm pretty sure it's 375, could be wrong. Or who am I kidding? I'm never wrong when it comes to this pie. A special twist to my grandma's recipe includes a secret ingredient. I'm not even made a nose. I'm making sure cherry is extra flavorful. God, why can't I, I remember what the same ingredient is? Almond extract. More cherries! Oh no, it's more. Oh, it's more cherries, duh. What? Mm. I'm never gonna ask. Let's turn the cherry dial to 11. Oh, oh crap, I messed up. 
finally get the pie in the oven. How long am I supposed to leave it in there? 15 minutes? Or am I just... Ah, I'll just wing it. Okay, it's pie, sweetie. It starts the, <laughs> the oven. Yes! Hey, it's not done yet. Be patient. What's the angle here? What? Pies are the object based to confet action. Are you trying to get me out of here? I've been leading a double life. Fine, they caught me. I was hoping to butter you up so that way I'd take me shopping later. Maybe you'll buy me a new tool set. Classic role reversal. I, expe I respect that. I I wait for a few minutes before you take a pie out of the oven. I set it on the rack, rack to cool and go all right with her mate. So Amanda doesn't dig into it before it's ready. Huh? What? Does it look kind of weird to you? Oh, that's just making our artistic license. The cherry pie needs me to needs me emotionally. I'm just saying because you know it seems that you might have baked the pie incorrectly. You are currently right now trying to pass it off as a good thing. It's art, sweetie. Was it art when you accidentally baked a whole uncracked egg into a, the center of the 12th birthday cake? Well, it's okay. It's an art when you make brownies and accidentally created chlorine gas. Chlorine gas? Well, that was a bit of an exaggeration. Was it art when you just eat the pie, panda? Sit down and cherry filling oozing out of the sides, berry crust. I watched Amanda take a bite. Uh, what's wrong? Is it good? Amanda winces her fit in her mouth. No, no, it's just I burned the heck out of my roof of my mouth. The pie is amazing. Sorry for doubting you. I breathe a sigh of relief and take a bite. She's right, the pie is inc pretty incredible, as it always is. It's really proud of you for making a pie without burning the new house down. I got a few dad tricks up my dad's sleeves. There's too many dad! How many times dad gonna be mentioned in this game? My whole father's are bobbling stupid. Dad, your sleeve is on fire. I run to the things and put myself out. Pride will be an undoing. And then I clean out the kitchen and pick. How do you pull off being on fire? There goes my awesome suit. The rest of my evening trickles by and we eat dinner. And, um, I decided to check dad book and, the, and still nothing but Robert. Huh. Hope he's okay. Turns out the light is down and lie down. Hey. Powder. Hey. Hey, powder. Oh, oh my god. Come hang out with me. Yes! We can actually go on a decent date with Robert! Is that a winky face? Oh, I see where you're going at! Well, that's not exactly subtle. But, I mean, I did have fun with him on the other night. Okay. I'll be right over. Maybe hurry up. God damn it! I really threw on my jacket and head outside. What does I feel like hooking up with Robert again? It's maybe a lost its idea. What's the problem with the tomorrow? Problem with tomorrow, Power. Hey, hey. So, how are you? How are things? Robert stares at me. I know you're not here for small talk. I shrug. Huh? Yeah, you got me. Robert closes the gap between us and whispers seriously incredible filthy things in my ear, and he backs me into the into his room. I start to think maybe this was a good idea after all. I like how dirty this game gets fast! It starts all innocent with the daughter and then it goes, Hey baby, let's... Who wants to get spanked? And that's... Hey. Robert nudges me awake. Oh, hey. Are you kicking me out? Kicking, kicking is a strong word. More like a gentle, friendly push. Gentle and friendly are not the words I put in this to describe Robert. And I sit up and stretch. Oh god, I'm so sore. I haven't had hickeys like this since college, jeez. Well, it's not like I'm doing this to gain any... You're just gonna force me to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll say that next time, too. I, th I throw my clothes back on while Robert smokes a cigarette on the balcony. See you around, I guess. Yep. This is very depressing. Why is he being that way? I walk away... I, I walk way back home, my bones creaking. Oh, uh, what's his problem? How am I supposed to increase that? Achievement, uh, knife dad. Okay. 
We went on two dates with Robert so far. I guess I'm just going to go do one at a time with each dad, I guess. Dad tip number 70, make sure you sweep under your, your tent and you don't sleep on the wreck. I guess this guy is kind of a, um, a fling, a lust thing. I guess that's what this guy is. Uh, I like how dirty that got real fast, though. It was pretty interesting how... Mm. So that's the second time you've had sex with Robert, so... It's been a long... Well, it's been a long day. We're just about to get ready to pack in. And a few bites of ice cream from the freezer. It turns out all the lights walk the whole room. I wonder if a man is still awake. That kid needs us some sleep. Is she crying? I knocked gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. Cry immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained, but she sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. It's in the dark. She can see Amanda's outlines in the middle of her bed, and knees hugged against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Did something happen? No, nothing's ha happened. Go away. Amanda. Get out! Okay, okay. Clear the room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I get crying again. What is going on with her? Wow. She's usually so open with me. What, did something go wrong? She's mad at me? I guess if it wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night, a very, very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself some coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. She'll be willing to talk about what other is bothering. About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes the beeline for the freezer. Morning, Man Amanda. Morning. She drops the frozen waffle in the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? No. Okay. You need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster le ever and makes the still freezer or burn waffle out, out to finish cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Oh, okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully it blows over and things go back to normal soon. I sit back in the kitchen table and look at the picture of Amanda and hanging on the wall. Is it teaching her to ride the bike, her face in a mixture of excitement and pure, unaltered fear? Uh, <laughs> remember how determined she was? Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. And I had to stop. She started crying because you didn't think she needed bandages that wanted to keep trying. But as the, I put the bike away, she st just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her to her ice cream and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it all, all thought, I decided to force her to talk about it. Like, oh crap! She started rummaging around for ingredients. Fuck, I fucked up. I hear Amanda walk in the door, heading to the kitchen, and usually does. She makes some beeline for the, her room. She clearly is trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin! What? Can you come over here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I want you to say sorry about last night. I'm trying. I, I was just worried about you, kiddo. I, I did. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get, I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I. It's so just whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me. You don't have if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad here, here in your corner who wants to keep you ha wants you to be happy, honey. You know you're bad with wor mm -hmm. I know you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping you can speak l a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and a piece of it on the table. Hopefully the frosting ha has set at for it by now. Ta-da, Dad. That is the most sweetest cake ever. No pun intended. I want to cry so bad. I love this game. It took me a while, a really long time, and I ran out of red frosting here somewhere. I look around, around sad, and ha I had to start over. It's so. It, it, this is beautiful. It's oh. strawberry. And it gives me a big old hug. I grab a point of forks and serve some delicious cake. So. It's really stupid. What is it? The whole thing, I know we've been weird lately. It's just, I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you have to take note? Oh, no. 
I guess I should start from the top. So oh, you know no. Emma R is going to the fancy school in California, right? Emma R? The other one? Mm. I guess you're not exactly wrong. Technically wrong. Mm. The one you have uh, all back acts like that. <laughs> one. <laughs> oh. Anyways, ever since you got an accepted letter, oh. I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? Oh god, I know this feeling. And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought I was all in my head for a while, but then after I found out that Rosie M the, and both the Emmas, Grace, Noah, all went on a party, McKenzie F's, the same night, and told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. Yikes. Uh -huh. So, another important piece of information is, uh, uh -huh. God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah, and, uh, that's a thing. What? I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that, okay? You're a bad liar. So are you. I learned from I'm the worst. Oh. Anyway, so the only re person oh. I told that question was Emma R, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about any party because I didn't want them to start drama. I just kept keep quiet and keep going about my business. Amanda sighs. And the one day I invite everybody out for nachos in the mall, and after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever pull their phones down for a moment for 60 seconds, they all say they were busy like a, like simultaneously. So tell them, I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips, and I really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. So I go to the mall anyway. I go to the food court, and who else I see there is... Er, but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hang out together eating nachos without me. What? It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them. I realize that Noah and his arms around Emma R, which kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. <laughs> Fucking bitch! Seriously! This is the kind of melodrama I hated in high school. Like, I hated people like this. Uh-uh. No. Yes, I know. And so I storm out of there... I'm like, hey! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt out of the course. She dr does as an Emma R is just like glares at me. Grace, Grace, nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is, is the, uh, I know. Grace is the, yeah. is the no, one nobody really likes. And I guess that that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything. And I just like... You guys suck, which I realize now that the most equivalent thing to say was I was very angry and really embarrassed. I just wanted to get out of there. So I left without nachos. I might have had which only further contributed to this my shitty day. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Only contributed to my shitty day and immediately drafted a super long text to the group. Chat that has been that they have been so weird. And I wrote another one to Emma R, asking how long um, the Noah thing has been going on. And sorry, I know that's a lot still following. What did Emma R say? Oh, okay. Get a load of this. Emma R says, you know what? Let me just t read it out to you. Emma R pulls out her phone and reads the word by word. A rigorous long string of text messages. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. I care so much about Emma and his social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about? This is all beyond on me, and I am trying the hardest to be supportive. They were dating in secret for, or like months. So I told her that she's been a really terrible friend, and she's like, "Well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being friend, being my friend." And I was like, "Okay," and then she left me on red. And then, wait, left me on red? What's that? Oh, like, saw my message and didn't reply, and I know what you all read receipts. <clears throat> I know what the red receipts are, but I'm going to nod and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while all this is happening, I'm talking to Emma P. But how, oh my, I, because at least being kind, responsible. Man, this is some serious shit, guys. Like... I'm venting about her, pissed, and I'm, <clears throat> I am everybody and stuff, and I can't continue this on, guys, my throat's killing me, hold on, <clears throat> and then out of nowhere, Noah texts me, and I'm like, how could you say that about me, and I was like, say what about you, and tells me, 
The MPE was sent screenshots of everything I told her, the group, and I got kicked off. Then I got kicked off. All right. I think you lost me at screenshots, but definitely sounds bad. There's much more, but honestly, I'm just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is everybody dropped me. Half of the gr it, half my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but Emma R has been in there since Mom died, and I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not even that mad when somebody's dating Noah, if that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs, stabs at, at remnants of her cake. Okay, I'll take it back. I'm kind of mad that she's dating Noah. Like, what did I go wrong? What did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide to not... not I'm not cool anymore. Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. And I was mad. I was at everybody like, I miss them, Dad. And I, I look so dejected. I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Uh -huh. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole s uh -huh. ordered tale. Thanks for listening to... Tune in next time for more hot gossip. Wow. I know, it's pretty dumb, right? It's not dumb. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever get mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess, unless you're secretly been a robot who has been approximately human fe uh, approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if you're a ro I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long time ago. But seriously, I know you're not probably wanting advice, don't want any advice, but I feel like my duty as a dad is to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Fuck. Ugh. Thing is, all these things are true. Not all friendships last forever, which is true. Like, high school is kind of a big thing where friendships get lost, but friendship's also where you make your friends, where you make your real fr true friends. Real friends don't do that, which is also a good thing. Another thing, like, boss, he's my best friend. Though he has ignored me in the past because he was going through some stuff here and there. But that was him. And high school does suck some, for some people. It didn't suck for me, but it does suck. High school sucks. You gotta make friends with people because they're there, and you still live in the hometown. There's plenty of small old pool pe people uh, to choose from. But once you go to college, and once you get out of the real, to the real world, you're going to be exposed to all sorts of people, and it's going to be easier to make friends with people who really get you. Some of those friendships can last a lifetime, and I mean, look at me and Craig. And some of them only last a little while, all too. I'm going to make many awesome new friends at, at the art, and you're going to make some more. Ah, I can't English. Unfortunately, I think it's set as way more about your, their character, and it goes about yours. Because you're amazing, and if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat the whole cake? Uh. Yes, we did just eat the whole cake. Well, uh. good talk. <laughs> Before she closes the door, Amanda gets up to her room, closes the door, and she turns around. Hey, Pops? Yes? <laughs> Thank you. You're always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you, too. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute. They even made a sound for her that says, I love you too, Dad. Why do I want a daughter to say that to me? I have to say it in, guys. Because I, I, I'm running out of time. I've gone way past my limit. And, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome video of Dream Daddy. Oh, God. This episode really made me cry. Oh, God. This, this episode is giving me mixed feelings. Like hate um it, it making me feel angry because of amanda's situation it's making me want to cry because the bond between mint powdered and amanda and the freaking perviness coming from fucking robert <laughs> i want to cry i love this game i say it way too much but i love this game <laughs> anyway guys i love you guys I can't wait to see you guys. I can't wait to see eat e team milk in the next video. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye.